I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not one to critique other teams. Um, you know, I don't get paid to do that. Um, but uh, you know, the biggest thing is um, with the younger guys coming up, you know, them getting playing time, getting experience, uh, you know, having guys like Pence and Lee um, to kind of drive the offense and, you know, just let them know that, you know, I talked to Lee a little bit last night and, you know, just told him to keep his head up, keep going. Um, you know, he's doing great. He's uh, swinging the bat well right now. And, uh, you know, it's all about encouraging each other, um, you know, on the same team and, uh, you know, not being on the same team. You know, that's what we're here for um, on the field. Even though we're battling against each other, we still encourage each other and um, let each other know that, you know, what, it's, uh, you're going to end up where you're supposed to end up at the end of the season. You know, you're going to have ups and downs. And, um, you know, that's what Griffey told me one day um, in 07. You know, I think I struck out like four times in the game. And was just struggling. He said, "You know what?" He said, "You're gonna have good days, uh, good periods, uh, bad periods, um, even worse periods, and great periods." He said, "It all equals itself out." So um, they just need to know that and uh, keep fighting, keep pushing uh, towards the goal, and uh, just uh, encourage each other. How about for you guys last night? That had to feel pretty good. I mean, especially with the struggles this weekend to have the performance you guys had deployed. No, it was good. It was good. Um, you know, anytime we can. Uh, Help our pitcher relax a little bit out there, and just uh, when we put runs on the board, it lets them go out and do what they can do. And uh, so it's, it's good to do that. Um, you know, CJ helped himself out, uh, got us fired up a little bit there um, in the, his first at bat, and it was fun to see. And we kind of took off after that. Um, Is there any so. sort of rivalry between the two of you guys? Who? Astros and the Rangers. I don't know. I think, I think, you know, Silver Boot and the fans. Uh, Kind of get into it more than we do, um, but it's just it's just another game, just uh, another opponent, and um, you know, in-state rivalry, I guess, if, if there is one. You know, there had been some talk about them possibly moving to the AL West to, to even up the divisions. What would you think about something like that? Um, you know, we're a little short on teams in the AL West, so um, you know, if it works out um, that that happens, then uh, you know, it's good. I mean, we'll get to see them more, get to stay in state more. Um, you know, we we'll have to go on such long road trips uh, as much, and um, it'll be fun. The way Michael talks, it's, it's more about travel that would be good yeah. than, than a Texas rivalry being developed. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly right. Uh, spoken from a true veteran, um, you know, who's been around for a long time and been doing it for a long time. So um, it's going to be, uh, if they decide to do that, it'll be fun uh, to have, hop on a plane and come for an hour and uh, be able to shoot back home pretty quick. What do you think about Lyles last time? I mean, he doesn't really pitch like a 20-year-old, does he? I mean, pretty composed out there. No, he, he looks good. Um, you know, the biggest thing um, that's tough with him is he keeps the ball down. Anytime a pitcher can keep the ball down, uh, especially if an umpire's calling the ball down at low strike, um, <laughs> it's tough as a hitter to hit. Um, so he did it well at our place. Um, you know, he did it well last night. Um, you know, but he left a couple few pitches up, and uh, we were able to capitalize on that. But he looks good out there. Do you think you feel better after having that day off on uh, Sunday? I had actually had a, had three days off. Saturday, struck out four times, turned around, walked back to the dugout. Uh, so that was like a day off, and. Uh, <laughs> Then uh, Sunday was day off, and then Monday day off. So yeah, really three. Uh, so, but the body feels pretty good. Um, a little sore today from hitting the ground last night a couple times. But uh, other than that, I feel good. You think those new uh, contacts did they help at all? No, I mean it took the brightness away, but you know, kind of felt like uh, still had sunglasses on without a nose piece type thing, depth perception problem. So uh, after my third at bat, I went in and took them out. And, uh, did the same thing my fourth at bat. So, right. <laughs> Josh Scott Cobal has been the all hitting coach for a few weeks. What do you think about having him with you? Oh, with you guys? He's great. Um, you know, he's uh, straight to the point. Um, encourages us, uh, and that's a big thing with a with a hitting coach. You want somebody who can um, encourage you, um, not push you too much, but listen to you, uh, understand where you're coming from, what you're feeling. Um, and then take that into the cage and help you work on it. And uh, that's exactly what he's doing. You guys really comfortable with him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's been in the organization for a while. Uh, so a lot of guys know him and uh, have had relationships with him in the past. So it's good to have him here. What's your Thanks. book on Myers? On Myers? A lot of junk. A lot of curveballs in the dirt. And we help sink, cut, 
Uh, curveballs, 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 and a few more curveballs.